Hi everyone. In this video, I show you how I made this fluid simulation in Blender using the Flip Fluids add-on. So starting off with the cube, I'm going to stretch it and make it a rectangular prism. And this I'll use for the boundary of the simulation, which basically just limits where the water can go. And then I'm going to add another object to serve as the ground, which will help contain the water. And I'm going to subdivide it so that I have enough detail for sculpting so I can build the bottom of the river in it. Here I'm just giving it a little bit of a slope so the water will flow naturally. And now I'm sculpting a little bit of a pool at the top of the hill so that the water will kind of um, stabilize and bubble out in a controlled way. And now I'm sculpting the rest of the channel. Okay, so I added a torus, which is the donut shape there, to act as the inflow object, which is where the water starts off from. And now I'm adding some objects to sculpt into rocks. And these I just place somewhat randomly, and I set them as obstacles so that the water flows around them. Now I'm sculpting them a little, adding some detail and smoothing them out so that the shading looks decent on them. So once I get the rocks done, it's time to try a quick version of the simulation to see how it looks. And this is looking decent, but there's a couple things I noticed I don't like. For one, the water flows too fast, so I decreased the slope by rotating my ground object. And I'm trying to keep the water flowing inside of the middle part of the channel and not bouncing off the edges because that doesn't look very realistic. So I sculpted out the sides wider so that the water can disperse and made the back of the pool at the top a lot uh, steeper and deeper so that the water doesn't splash around the boundary and look weird from the render. Here I'm adding some grass and I just modeled these from cylinders. And now I'm adding a hair system to act as the little seeds at the top of the grass. And then I'm, I'm going to weight paint an area to tell Blender how to distribute the grass. And then I'm going to use those as an object instance and make a particle system that uses the entire grass model as a hair particle. And you can see some of them, the bottom is sticking through uh, the mesh there and they're kind of rotated in different directions and all of that could be adjusted, but I thought it kind of looked decent, so I left it. Adding some green to the grass. Okay, that's what the scene looks like now. So I baked a preview of the render so I could just make sure it works. And see there that um, rock two, the rock at the kind of the top, still doesn't get enough water behind it. It doesn't look real. And this is a preview version of the of the bake, so it's lower resolution. It won't look as good anyway. But I still needed to add more of a dip there. And running it again. Now you can see the water fills in underneath the rock and kind of swirls a lot. And that's the look I was going for. And once the water stabilizes, it stops pouring over the top of the rock as much. Um, which is another way that it wouldn't look as realistic. So now that I have that set up, I'm going to put materials on everything. So now this is in Substance Painter, which is another application I use to do materials. And here I'm just painting the ground with some uh, grass color underneath my grass objects and some various rock and soil colors to make the channel look a little better. 
And then I export those textures to Blender. And we'll reapply those in a minute. And now for the rocks, I gave them all kind of different textures. Each one gets its own because the materials are linked directly to the meshes of each rock. And here I'm painting a little bit of extra detail just to cover up seams. I didn't properly UV unwrap these objects, so uh, technically if you just apply a material on, it'll look really bad because you'll be able to see seams. And here you can kind of see some of those. So I tried to cover them up with a little bit of extra painting. All right, now back in Blender, I'm just applying my materials to the objects. By doing that, you can select all of the output textures and hit Control Shift T while you have the shader highlighted and it will help you automatically generate all of the shader nodes for it. All right, now here, um, I've known before that the white water particles, which are kind of what make it look bubbly, where it's moving fast, um, tend to not sit on the mesh exactly. So I was adjusting those to make them look like they match the water better. And now I'm adding just a little bit of smaller grass to fill in some of the area underneath the big grass so that it looks a little more natural. And here's with all the materials and here's what the water looks like. This render took about 26 hours, which was a lot more than I expected. And it's 900 frames total. So none of this repeats until the video ends. So definitely watch the whole thing. Thanks for watching. Keep watching for more stuff. I'm going to do a lot more of these and I hope you enjoy it.